All right, this is the watch list video for Monday, February 8th. Um, the SPY basically hit support again. It had a nasty day on Friday, but it did hit support. Um, you know, on a Sunday video, it's it's impossible to, to tell what's going to happen. We we might open down here. Um, we might open up here. So, you know, because I don't know that. But I, I would say the 187 area um, is an area to watch, okay, if it gaps up and it gets back down. It's been great support for the last couple of weeks. But again, it might not even be a factor on Monday. We might gap way up or way down. So, all right. Uh, overall, though, the market's looking fairly ugly. Um, having said that, I do have several stocks that if there's any kind of bounce in the market that uh, are setting up pretty nicely for a bounce. Uh, let's get this old line off of here um, and move it down to the most recent support now. Um, I had the line drawn up here at the August lows for EA, which is Electronic Arts, video game maker, um, and just straight down. This one is way overdue for a bounce. And certainly interesting uh, off of uh, the 54 area now. That's, you know, I always look to the left on the chart and see if there's any support. Um, it got down to 54.85. So, you know, if the market's weak, I'm going to watch that one around 54 for a bounce. Um, speaking of video game makers, uh, Activision, four days down in a row now and did hit the 200 day on Friday. Uh, I want to watch that one for a bounce too. ATVI, B E C N. Um, gapped up on Friday and then sold off hard. One of our members in chat, Jane, called this on just a five minute buy setup right here, um, which ended up being, I mean, this was just straight down, a little bounce and then the next leg down, biggest volume of the day. This is a, you know, a classic reversal setup. If you're a day trader, you can take advantage of stuff like this. This uh, five minute buy setup was 37.19 with a low of day stop and look at that. What is that, 20 minutes later, it's up like two bucks. Um, what a great call by Jane. It ended up rolling over, but who cares? If you're a day trader, you can take advantage of uh, oversold conditions like this, make some really nice money, get back to cash, and then not worry, right? Not worry about what happens overnight. So um, Nike, big name here, NKE, four days straight down into the January lows. I've got a line drawn there. Um, if you look at the average size of the daily candles, you know, just look at all the daily candles, um, Friday's was a really big range for NKE, and that's after already being down three days in a row. So this one, to me, super interesting. This early January, or let's see, mid-January low, 56.59. Looks like I could move that line a little bit. But um, so in that area, 56, around 56 and a half, I would be watching for an intraday kind of uh, reversal setup, all right? MPC, I want to have um, one energy stock that's really beaten up uh, on watch in case oil were to bounce or something like that. And this is, I've chosen MPC because, uh, you know, it is just straight down here and on big volume for four days in a row. All right. So that one, I don't know that I have any support in this area. Got a line drawn here. Um, let's go to the weekly chart. It's easier to see, right? Um, and this was, let's get the date, October of 2013. So we're going way back, but that is an interesting area um, and it's getting there in a hurry. So um, around 32 and a half might, might be worth a look, all right, on MPC. And again, all this can, is contingent upon what the market's doing too. But these, you know, these are some decent areas on, on some oversold conditions to watch. Uh, VHC, um, you know, this one held up pretty well on a week tape on Friday. I want to watch this one for a continuation of the move up had great news on, uh, I guess it was Thursday. WATT had relative strength, held up pretty well. If you go to 15 minute candles, you can see it a little better. Remember the market was super weak. WATT was kind of flirting with breaking the high of the day. So the daily doesn't, you know, doesn't look super beautiful, but you did have this big spike and it is holding the moving averages here. So uh, any strength in the market, I wanna watch that one. TMST, another kind of just recent relative strength name, weak market, and this one's holding up pretty well. It's kind of trying to stay above this little flag area here. So want to watch that one. Juno, J-U-N-O, uh, if you go to 15 minute candles late in the day on Friday, this had massive volume. Can't really see it when you go to the daily, um, but because I was trading Friday, I happened to see that. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna watch that one for continuation of whatever caused this afternoon rally um, on Friday, see if that can continue on Monday. So I wanna watch J-U-N-O, kind of a long list, guys. I'm sorry about this. Uh, GoPro, um, not that interesting, beaten up, but then when they came out with earnings, you know, it, it held up. Maybe that's a near-term low, um, that $9 area. And then 
in the afternoon. Not, actually, it was after hours. This thing closed at 9.95. And after hours on uh, Friday, this thing shot up to over 11 on some news. Something to do with a, a I don't know, licensing deal with Microsoft. Or, don't quote me on that. Uh, had something to do with Microsoft in the name. But it did shoot up to uh, almost 11. I think it settled down around 10.55. Um, so if you kind of take the the mindset that hey maybe maybe GoPro put in a near term bottom here um, on the gap down the other day on on uh, on earnings, it then you'd have to uh, kind of make the logical leap to well then it's up from here and then um, this thing does get big moves at times because there's a lot of shorts in it so you can get little mini squeezes. So I want to keep my eyes on a GPRO, um, B O O T another relative strength name, easier to see on 15 minute candles. I had the gap up here. And then these are 50 minute candles. The next day uh, just ripped and now it's kind of uh, flagging. So it looks really good over Friday's high. Then you'd think that if you break Friday's high, which would be over 850, you would think that that would push it right through uh, Thursday's high of 857 and then anything's possible. Nice volume on the earnings day um, and now kind of flagging on a 15 minute basis. So this does look really good over Friday's high. So keep that one on watch. B-O-O-T, my first entry idea assuming the market's not getting killed at the moment would be over 850 knowing that um, 858 is a secondary catalyst AMDA another another relative strength play big volume and flagging ever since so AMDA um, looks pretty darn good here uh, let's watch for this for a flag break I'll switch to like 30 minute candles and you can see it so there's the big move and then you've got a flag. So, you know, up over, up around 320, that might get this one started. Just keep your eyes on AMDA. And then lastly, kind of an obscure one, VBLT had a volume spike and a big push to four from a low on, uh, on whatever day that was of 291. So that's, you know, it made like a 50% move that day. It looked like it was rolling back over, but now it's holding up. Remember, Friday had a weak tape and, uh, and this thing was pushing higher. So over 344, this one's interesting to me, VBLT. That would be just over Friday's high. Um, I'd say 345 or maybe one, Maybe you wanted to get through the half uh, over 350. All right, so that is more than I'm comfortable watching on Monday. Plus, we're going to find some gappers in the morning, hopefully, um, and play some early morning gaps uh, as well. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that, man. Enjoy the game tonight, and we'll see everybody tomorrow.